Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, AccessTrader.com Nightly Wrap-Up Show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So, rotation, right? Rotation. We saw the rotation yesterday. Um, airlines, hotels, uh, anything to do with leisure. Um, that was great. Again, what they did provide is the same thing, uh, is the same reason why I don't trade them every single day. They're one-hit wonders. They're always one-hit wonders. But again, um, the greatest part about yesterday, okay, was there was actually money flow that was chasing these prices. And if you look at them, what happened day two, absolutely nothing, right? Dallas up a little bit, Boeing gave back absolutely everything, you know, pretty much everything. Looks like complete crap. Uh, CCL, they, again, they had a shot to get go to the second day and they never did it. Again, these are one hit wonders. This is why, um, you know, you trade these things for very special situations. And if they can't get going, they kind of get lost back in the shuffle and nobody cares about them for another six months. What I like about today, kind of sticking with the theme of rotation, well, the money had to go somewhere, okay? Most of beta did rest. Uh, we did have continued strength in Alibaba, continued strength on Facebook. And at least we now know uh, where, why those mysterious out of the money call buyers were coming for the last couple of weeks. If you guys remember, I've been talking about really weird uh, option flow on Facebook. Today they announced uh, they're putting some sort of eBay slash checkout on Instagram, basically another way to kind of monetize, to make transactions. And the stock really exploded, right? Like really, really did well. And it closed at 52 week highs. And now it looks incredibly well. And again, you're seeing really deep, continue to see really deep out of the money calls on this name. Uh, Alibaba, again, just a really great move. It broke out a couple of days ago and went nuts. You see yesterday, it went nuts today. Uh, we'll show you the bottom of the channel uh, where it stopped perfectly. Um, so that was cool as well. But, it, but again, what I like about today, and again, I keep on saying that, but what I like about today was the money from yesterday's leisure and transport, you know, transport and airlines and all that stuff, how to go somewhere. And they went into the EV space, right? And normally you would turn around and say, well, Tesla must have exploded, right? For these things to, well, not so fast. What Tesla did do structurally today was, again, they tested the rising five-day. Again, the five-day moving average is the purest form of short-term sentiment. They held and they bounced. So again, setting up for a really, really interesting channel for tomorrow, which I will definitely watch. But again, sticking to the theme of rotation and speculation money, it went into names that, again, are quiet for like three, four months, and then they wake up. Look at NIO, went absolutely nuts today. We saw really aggressive call buyers today, all morning, okay? Uh, we saw the 15s, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19s, the 20s. So very, very aggressive move. But again, it didn't uh, even stop there uh, with NIO. Again, a lot of the other uh, electric vehicle names uh, started popping up. So it was a very good barometer that... Um, the mantra of this market is even if the leaders rest, okay, they will wake up other things because again, a resting giant eventually will wake up. We're going to segue that in a second. Uh, WKHS, again, another perfect example of one of these electrical car vehicle. Uh, and again, big call buying this morning. You, you saw the 17s, the 18s, the $19 calls. And again, it was a great, it was, it was, it was a beautiful pivot today. Absolutely beautiful pivot today. Uh, it closed up the high of the day. Again, we'll go, go into individual pivots uh, in a second. But the most important part, right? We, and today was a pretty solid day. But the, the most important part, what I like for going into tomorrow, right? Remember the sleeping giants, right? That we just talked about a couple of minutes ago. They bought time, right? They bought a couple of days. They relaxed, okay? Um, they, they, they yawned a little bit. They stretched their legs. And now it's time to, for them to stretch their legs. And if you start looking at 60-minute channels for this, for this evening uh, and kind of correlate them into daily, you'll notice a couple of things. Again, right? Biggest sleeping giant of them all, or at least the craziest sleeping giant of them all, again, like I mentioned, held the five-day moving average, and it's so close, right? If they can just take out this area here, tomorrow it could wake up very, very aggressively. Uh, Amazon, again, really big moves, right? 
really, really big candle yesterday, aggressive candle today, not as aggressive as yesterday. Again, we'll talk about the pivots in a second, but you can see here, right? You can see here, you can see the daily chart. What's about to happen or potentially could happen? Again, this is a good thing. If you trade beta, this is a wonderful thing. If you look at Microsoft, again, uh, late day call buy. Look how Microsoft is setting up to this whole channel here. So you kind of get the point. Zoom, right? Zoom had a couple of days off. It woke up. It stretched his legs, stretched his arms. Again, that's the theme. It potentially could stretch tomorrow. And if you look at the 60-minute channel, all it needs to do is get out of this way, get out of this area. So what happened in the last three days were very, very productive. A lot of names that had big, big runs. They rested. Okay, money flow went into other names that had their day in the sun. Whether they're the airlines, whether today, for example, the electric vehicles. But now we're getting back. We're potentially about to get back into the meat and potatoes of what I do. And obviously that is beta, okay? And if a lot of these names, if they do wake up, even NVIDIA, right? Even NVIDIA that had a monster run, rested for a couple of days. Look at this channel. Look how tight this channel is. Again, tomorrow you definitely need to buy uh, Alibaba, continue to buy Facebook on any rising 60 minute dips. But these are the other companies that are, again, gonna start waking up. And if they do wake up, we will be looking for an, a really good potential premium day. Now, again, like I say this uh, in front of any potential premium day, as much as I think this is gonna happen, as much as I'd like this thing to happen, as much as I want this thing to happen, again, the key is we let it happen. We wait for confirmation. We don't, you know, we don't wake up tomorrow morning and start buying things pre-market on the anticipation that these stocks are gonna confirm their channels. That's suicide, doesn't make any sense. Again, do not anticipate, don't overthink. Let it confirm, right? Let it put in a new high, retrace, second entry, all that good thing, measure potential, let the trade come to you. Again, have an opinion, yes. Have a bias, yes. Let everything play out. Don't be that trader who anticipates a move and gets absolutely destroyed, especially in the options market. Let everything play out. There's specific levels for every single company that needs to build and reclaim. And once they do, again, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand, well, again, potentially tomorrow, we will be looking at a big premium day. Fingers crossed. That's it. Fingers crossed. And the moral of the story is let's wait. Patiently wait like statues in the park until a bird comes and craps all over our face, right? That's what statues do. So uh, pretty solid day. I, I was actually very pleasantly surprised uh, about today's action. I even traded one of these uh, EV players, this workhorse, which was pretty pretty good trade. Um, but tomorrow, tomorrow is definitely going to be uh, a necessary for the market if it wants to continue the speculation trade. Uh, and if you look at today's pivots, again, I started putting in a lot of pivots today uh, into the channel. And my morning notes were, you have to be a little bit more patient this morning as many beta names are either in middle ranges and are tired. Now again, for all you guys at home, when a stock is tired, it doesn't mean it's a short, okay? When a stock is tired, it's just tired, okay? It's just like, it's like you, uh, it's like you going to the gym, you pumped your iron, you did your cardio, you're tired, you're not dead, right? You're tired. So a lot of these names, you know, will give sellers or potential sellers or potential short sellers um, a very, very bad indication that they're about to roll over aggressively only to come into the rising 60 minute channels, trap uneducated late shorts and get absolutely run over. That happens every day and you can see it. That happens today with Tesla, that happened today with Apple, that happened today with Shop, that happened today with Microsoft, that happened today even with Alibaba. And again, we'll talk about uh, where shorts got trapped uh, this morning. So again, understand the difference between a stock that is tired and is drifting lower or a stock that needs to be sold or shorted. Selling or short selling takes place underneath demand. It doesn't take place above demand, it's underneath demand. And right now, with this type of environment, you want to buy stocks into rising demand. You don't want to short them there. Because again, if the market continues and this bull theme expands and filters through 2021, again, the last thing you want to do is start pounding bids on rising support. And again, if you look at today's day, and, and I, again, I put in a bunch of pivots that none of them triggered, literally none of them triggered. CCL didn't trigger. Angie didn't come close to triggering.
Uh, SFIX stopped right at 26, didn't trigger. Boeing, I said, well, surely as hell, this thing's gonna have a day two run, never came close. Twitter, as sure as hell gonna have a day two run, never came close. Uh, FMCI, never came close. Now here's again, here's my whole point uh, in this type of environment of buying strong names on rising 60 minute support. So if you look at, if you look at my message here, uh, this is pre-market, uh, Baba 60 minute support, is 275.50, 276, experienced trader, it's a bounce play. And again, here's my point, right? So here's the 60 minute view, right? Here's the 60 minute view on Alibaba, right? Look at the low, you see this whole rising support? That's what I mean by rising 60 minute support. You see the low here, right? It touched 276 and just went absolutely nuts. So again, for all you guys who are trading and you always ask me, what's these silly lines, right? With the sarcastic, you know, the sarcastic uh, connotation. Like, what's these silly lines? You have all these weird lines in your charts, Dan. Yeah, this is the reason why I have these little charts and all these weird spaghetti looking charts because these are the areas that you can identify that emotional sellers came into technical buyers, right? And when you see technical buy sellers coming into emotional buyers, again, this is why the, all these little silly lines, right? They're on my charts. They give me an indication of where supply and demand, emotional levels are being risen, and where technical levels are supposed to get embraced and get rejected. So again, that's kind of the theme going forward, especially for tomorrow. Any week uh, we're open on Facebook, on Alibaba for tomorrow, on Microsoft for tomorrow. I wanna to watch them into 60 minute support, 100%. This is definitely the play uh, to go. Uh, Roku, you know, it's just a frustrating stock, man. Every single time I think this thing's gonna wake up, just doesn't, doesn't wake up. Not only doesn't wake up, doesn't even come close. Uh, Workhorse was great. There's nothing else to say. Workhorse was great. Uh, 1670 needs to build. Um, so that's where I got long. I got long off that 1670 area and the damn thing exploded. The whole, here's the whole 1670 and just went out of its mind. It traded as high as today, uh, 1826. Again, here's, here's what we talk about rising support. You see this orange line, right? That's what we're looking for tomorrow. We're looking for rising support. And if it opens up there, if you notice every single time it hits this orange line, right? Boop, boop. Again, these, these are emotional sellers meeting technical buyers. So we want to definitely watch tomorrow workhorse uh, for a dip. A beautiful move. I mean, really, really beautiful move. Not I, I didn't expect to trade it today, uh, but it was a great trade. It was a really, really good trade. Nothing, No complaints there. Uh, Zoom, again, we start, we're starting to see, and, and again, this is what we talk about the options market, guys. We are seeing $300 weekly calls. Okay, the stock right now is at what, two. 80, well, where's Zoom? 291, right? So we're, we're seeing $9 out of the money calls for Friday. Now, keep this in mind before you turn around and say, well, it's probably for earnings. It's not. They report earnings on Monday. So there, somebody's betting that this thing's going to have a pre-earnings run. I get it, right? COVID, this, that, the other thing. I get it. Uh, so here is the pivot here. Uh, uh, 288.50, 289 needs to build. I said there's a shot it gets to 294. So here is the pivot right here, right? Here's the whole pivot right over here. And it took out that 289 level and traded right to uh, 293.72. Uh, so big move there. Congratulations to you guys who caught Zoom. Uh, perfect. Again, here, here's what I told about. 300 call buyers. Very, very odd. It does look like they want to uh, set up a run uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Amazon continues to be really good, okay? And this is what happens when there's really good companies uh, that come out of ranges. They usually make big moves. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, yesterday, what do we have? A, a, a 60 point move on Amazon, right? Today, rejected uh, twice. Uh, 33.25 needs to build. And here is Amazon, right? Here's Amazon. Here is the, uh, right here. You see this 33 and a quarter? So it took out 33 and a quarter and it traded all the way up into the mid 50s. Again, it is setting up. All it needs to do is reclaim this channel. And if you miss this channel, you can reclaim this channel here. But again, it's the old song and dance. 34, 35, 36, 3700 dollars weekly calls on the name. Definitely something uh, to watch. Uh, big move on Amazon. Great move there. Uh, Bob is ripping a tad. A tad. So I said here, 30, 344 supply, uh, 294 on deck. Uh, DKNG, nice little move on DKNG. Uh, DKNG, another one, again, is, gonna, is going to definitely benefit, uh, especially from football. People are huge, huge. People, I know people bet on baseball and, and basketball and stuff, but, but the junkie gambler, 
wants football. And football is starting in a couple of weeks. Uh, we saw DraftKings today, uh, the $40 calls, the $41 call, the $42 calls. Again, weekly call buyer coming in, uh, $39.30 needs to build to test highs. And that's exactly what it did. Uh, here was DraftKings. For some reason, I called Diamond Kings. But here's DraftKings. Here was the sneaky pivot I was talking about, uh, this $39.30. And it took out the highs of the day. Went to all the way to forty. Uh, 06, um, new highs, new highs, new highs on deck. So, you know, we're set up for tomorrow, okay? We're definitely set up for tomorrow. Um, I, again, the bull market continues to be incredibly strong. I would love to see some other participation from a Netflix, from a Roku, maybe from a Beyond, right? Uh, because again, a lot of these names are so overbought, okay? You, you're, you're always in the back of your mind thinking to yourself, well, is this gonna be the day they're gonna reverse? Is this gonna be the day you reverse? Again, we don't wanna think, we wanna react. So I'm definitely watching Tesla tomorrow. I'm definitely watching Amazon tomorrow. I'm definitely watching Facebook and, and uh, Alibaba on dips. I'm definitely watching Microsoft tomorrow. Uh, Roku, eh, any day now, okay. Um, and Baba, and Baba on dips. And obviously I wanna see uh, second day moves in NIO, very, very strong, WKHS uh, as well. So guys, have a great night. Again, I wanna thank you for all the support, uh, all the emails, all the correspondence, all the, the conversation. You guys are awesome. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.